first and foremost, it's always glory to the most high, glory to God. And, you know, it was really a team effort. Defense played their butts off, you know, we needed their most. And um, O-line did their job. Everyone just did their job. And no matter what, coach always talked about adversity. I feel like us as a team had it as well. Coach talked a little bit about how he felt like you were a little rushed at the beginning. What did you do to talk to him, just, you know, also to calm yourself down and work through your emotions better? Um, I mean, I think just being with my teammates, you know, my coaches was always um, telling me, you know, I'm good in the pocket. The pocket was nice. And I was running for no reason. And that's something I still got to work on. But, um, I mean, my teammates, you know, they continue to encourage me. Um, you know, defense gave, gave, giving us the ball back encouraged us as well. So it was just a team effort. Paul, yeah, what was it like to have your brother support you on the sideline? Oh, it's always good to have family, you know, at my games, knowing that I'm far away from home. So, I mean, any family that can come out, especially my brother, you know, he's my role model and stuff. So having him at the games, you know, it's, it's a great feeling. And what was it like having a crowded stadium? <laughs> what was it like having a crowded stadium for the first time? Oh, I mean, it was great. I mean, Maryland came with the um, – they have great fans. I mean, everyone was in the – top seeds as well so I mean it was fun. The, the, the two scoring drives that you guys had in the second half uh, what, what do you feel <laughs> was the key, what was the difference for you guys in being able to move the chains consistently down the stretch? Right? The, the, the key to moving the chains consistently in the second half down the stretch? Um, I mean we felt like as offense we're beating ourselves you know we wasn't really disciplined at the time and locked in but I mean that's part of adversity you know sometimes it that at that point in the game, second, third quarter, you know, sometimes you get a little sloppy at times. Um, but I mean, we did a good job bouncing back, and I mean, there's a lot of stuff we got to clean up, but we finished strong. So, two of your three touchdown passes were 60 yards or longer. How encouraging is it for you guys on offense to be able to dial plays like that up with those receivers that you've got? Um, yeah, I think our O line did a good job of giving them time with the play action passes, the drop back passes, and um, receivers ran great routes. You know, made the throws easier for me. And um, I mean, Coach Nino's he called a great play call the whole game. So you know, it's just up to us to execute every time we're on the field. When Jacorian got the interception in the end zone, and you guys got to come back out to the field, what, what's going through your mind before a drive like that? Um, I mean, I was happy for Jacorian. You know, that's my boy. He's my uh, my locker buddy. So um, you know, he's also injured as well, playing with. I would think like three fingers, but I mean, he still got the pick, so it was good. I mean, the whole game defense stepped up when we needed them most, you know, even when their backs was against the wall. And um, I mean, just excited to, you know, put the game away. How, how do you feel from just like a calmness, composure standpoint when you're when you're on that drive? On the four minute drive? Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, good, you know, we practice um, four minute drill a lot and two minute drill a lot, so we came out there prepared. And, um, you know, we knew what they were trying to do, stop the run, and they had all three timeouts. So, um, you know, we just had to play discipline and protect the ball and get the first down. So. 300 yards, four touchdowns, not a bad way to start the season. All right, yes, sir.